M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's add GB3FI into my FTM 500. First thing is go to VFO mode. That's my memories. There's VFO. And we'll type in the frequency using my microphone because it's a lot easier. 430925. Like so. Now, if you're wondering how to change the color, because we've got it nice and red here, just hold down the function and it's right at the top. Frequency input, LCD brightness, color, number three. Select that and then look, you just turn turn again the function and you'll get red. It looks nice in red. So we put it in using the microphone, but you can just hold down the screen if you want. Hold a bit longer. There you are. And you can now select with the large knob, 430, and then push it. So 430, just so you know. Zero nine two, and you've got a shortcut there. Have you noticed you've got a shortcut there as well uh, for the memory channel? I'll just show you that because that was interesting. So we just go hold it down here, go to memory channel list. Pretty good, eh? Yeah, let's go back. Make sure we're in VFO four three zero nine two five is is the right output for my GB3FI. Next thing we want to do is, I know it's already in there, but I'm gonna show you how the tone and the, the frequency hold down function. Now you can set a shortcut for every single one of these. Uh, if we go to number, I'm pretty sure it's 25, that'll give us our automatic repeater shifts. So 25 and I've got mine off at the moment. So you just push it, turn it on, and then you've got auto, put that. You won't have to use the shifts, but let's show you it anyway, 26, look. And let's set a shortcut. So we'll hold it down and we'll put it, let's put it here. So now whenever we need to go to repeater shifts, it's there in our shortcut menu, which I think holds eight items. So let's back out. We've got it automatically in there. I wouldn't say that's put it in. So we'll hold it, hold, hold, just briefly press, tap that and we'll go to plus for, for that particular repeater. 430925, it's quickly key. We've got an antenna connected. We're on low power at the moment. Uh, the power setting is on, it's right near the top. Make sure it's number eight. TX power and then turn it to low with the function knob here. Then back out, there's the back button there. If we key, we should have the right frequencies in there. Yeah, that's the right frequencies. Oh, it's actually open the repeater. Did you hear that? And that's with the, just an internal antenna, but we're going to show you how to do set the, the frequency. So the volume is here, look. We've got this preamp as well that makes the LED go white as well. I'll turn that on, see if that makes any difference. That's key. Well, it has brought it up. I'll turn it off. It does actually bring it up. So interesting. Anyway, hold down function. We'll go to 26. Repeat a shift we did, then 27, we want the shift frequency. Now it's already put it in there, but if you need to change it, push the function and then turn it, look. 7.60 for a 70 sems. And the tone, we need to turn the tone on. It is on already, but I'll show you that as well. Repeat a tone, which is menu 45, and then you go tap it. At the bottom, you want tone encode. That's what I use. You've got other options, but tone in code. Select that and go down to 46. And that's where you can select your the frequency, which is 77 hertz. Like so. And we will name it in a second. Let's just try it again. M0 FXB test. Making it no problem. So we're going to store that now by just holding down the VM button. And we're actually going to just... It's, it's lit, brought up the whole list of memory channels. And we're going to hold down the function button again. No, the VM. Let's just go back and just check. Yeah, it has put that in there. We back out as VFO memory. Look, it's put it at number five. And you, you select them with the large VFO. That, that's Hubnet. That's what we've just put in there. Now, if we hold it again and then go up to it, go back one with the function knob. Now press it, 
Now this time we're going to turn with the function knob to edit and we're going to go down to tag and then push function and we, I prefer capital, so we'll go to caps and then we're going to go GB3, GB, and then numbers at the bottom, three, then you've got to go back to ABC, and then it's FI, FI, then hold the function and then go, select, and then remember to select OK. And we've got a name in there. And if we back out with the back button and with the large VFO look, we've got GB3FI. So that, that's how you set a repeater. And it would be the same if it was a digital repeater, but you would select DN. Oh yeah, I didn't show you how to select the mode. So I'll show you that now, VFO. And remember, if you're well, that was an analog one, so you go DN. If you have a line above, it means you're in AMS mode. It means if it receives an analog signal, it will switch. If you move the line away, it's locked. But the other way you can change the mode is look, tap the DX button. And you saw the preamp working as well. The other thing to note about this radio is that if you notice here, the sub band is 433300. When you select between main and sub, so main is a top bit and sub, it doesn't actually take you down, it moves the sub up. So watch this. You move, you select the two arrows, look, it moves it up. You're on the B band and there's certain things you can't do on the B band and there's certain things you can't do on the A band. Just remember that when you're trying to do wires X and GPS and things like that. Remember to, that you've got to be on the main band, like the, the X button, as far as I can see, and watching a John Crook video as well, um, you've got to be on the main band or a message from John Crook. You've got to be on the main band to do the wires X. And I'll, I wonder if I can show you that before I end this video. So my hotspot is on sync now. Uh, I might have it in a memory channel. Let's have a look. So we'll go back to memory. There, there's my hotspot. Now we're on this. The other thing is someone tell me, how do we know when we are on main and sub band? Cause look, it's at the top there. All right, it flips. But where's the where's the thing that tell? Is it because it's no green means? Does green mean that we're in memory mode? Look at this. So I'm going to hold the I'm going to push the DX now. Push key to change band. So is that telling me? So now if I change the frequency, if I come out there, type in the frequency four three eight five seven. Five. That's my hotspot. Get rid of the shift, which was number, let me think now, number 26, I think. 26. Why all? We don't want a shift. So let's go up one. Turn off. Turn that off, turn repeat, automatic repeater shift off on 25. And then we can turn off our shift. You do have to turn that off first, apparently. So simplex, let's hold down DX. Yeah, that's allowing me to do it. Basically access my hotspot. We'll let that time out and then we'll try and do it by switching the bands and see if it does it on the sub or main band. Go to the Push the two arrows, we've flipped it now. Let's push down the X. No, see, it's actually telling me to change band. So I would say that is the sub band. The sub band has a green color here, I suppose. The green has moved down, the blue is at the top. So possibly, let me know that, you know, you think it would say sub or at least A or B. Anyway, that's how you, that the video was about adding your favorite repeater to your radio. Thanks for watching. 7-3, all the best.